Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking all about billet night. So billet night is a night that every senior looks forward to. It's when you finally, after you put in your dream sheet, you list your top places you wanna go, whether it's Hawaii or Alaska, billet night is the night you find out where you're going for your first assignment, which is about two years. Today, I'm gonna to take you back to when we first got the list of potential options for billet night up through March 3rd, which is when we found out. Hello everybody. So today is November 12th and our belt list came out tonight. And so I was looking through it and figured that I would start kind of documenting this process of deciding how I wanna, how I wanna go about making my list. And you know, maybe this will go in my overall bill at night video so that you can see like how I made my decision on what to put in for and then Honestly, how God worked through that and uh, through the detailers and through conversations to get me where I'm going next. This is how it looks. You got the unit, the type of cutter, I guess the position number, the title. So if you're deck watch or engineering, the city and state it's in, and then the gender of the billet. So yeah, we got lots in Florida, Virginia, and California it looks like. And uh, I think there's 20 aviation. So, yeah. Interesting first thoughts, you know? I have no idea where I want to go. Uh, anyway, excited to, excited to document this process and March is gonna be here before I know it. <laughs> Hello, so I'm currently on draft number two of my bill list. And draft number one consisted, I would say mostly of me just looking at where there are people I know already stationed there that are going to be there for at least another year. And then also the platform that I want. So I put a lot of buoy tenders on draft number one and then switched to FRCs. And then I called someone who's on an FRC currently and started talking to them just about the mission. And then I started thinking that I needed to be thinking more critically about the missions in certain areas based on like career progression because for example, if I'm on an FRC that does nothing but fisheries, then I'm gonna get off that FRC and not have many options because I have not a lot of experience with law enforcement and search and rescue. So now I'm looking more at all the Florida FRCs thinking if I wanna someday be CEO of an 87, I might need that experience. So we're on draft number two. We got some other working drafts going, thinking about different factors, but yeah, this is hard. I feel like it's definitely going to come down to like the night or the week before they're due thinking of what's most important to me then and submitting that list so kind of crazy so i just had my meeting with opm opm for those of you who don't know is office of personnel management and they're basically like the detailers for the coast guard so they're who determines where everyone goes and all that so we had meetings with them today and just able to ask our questions. I told them my rank, what I was thinking, and you know, the biggest thing I got out of that was just realizing that if you want to get back into the patrol boat world after you've already been an ensign on an FRC, you'll have to either go on a bigger boat second or go to Pat Forcois second in order to set yourself up for that. So there are just more variables in there that I was thinking about. You know, just continuing to shuffle around my list. I also got to sit in my meeting because they were running late. I met with another couple. So it was the couple and me. And so it was cool because I got to hear all of their co-location questions. It was cool to get my questions about it answered through them. So that was a really unique opportunity through them running behind. So just, just trying to continue organizing and thinking about how many I need to put on my list though. So, yeah. Hey, so it's been a while since I updated, but since the last time I talked to you, things have changed a little bit. Uh, I have kind of shifted priorities, more so thinking about what will keep options open for me down the line. So going to a cutter that has a flight deck and has 05 or 06 command so that you have that endorsement. So you have options in the future. So more so looking at 270s and 210s now and kind of location based just so I can be with friends and other people that I want to be with so that's where we're at currently and we are two weeks away from the day that our billet lists are due just talked to my company officer this morning and then 
March is gonna be here pretty soon. Okay, Sila. So, for my billet process, I've been documenting, like as I've gone along. So as it's changed, I've taken a video. So now that we're here with our billet lists due in two days, how are you feeling? <laughs> I feel uh, indifferent. <laughs> Uh, I'm ready to submit it so that it's like out of my hands, you know, just ready to move on. 50 days. I feel pretty much very peaceful about it, you know? Like, I thought that it, this would be like much more of a stressful time and like I'd be like frantic about it, but you know, it's pretty straightforward. I know what I want. God knows what I want more, so <laughs> submitting them tonight. Do you want me to look at the job aid for you? No, you can't film this. What? I have to get the real moment though. I've never had no one freak out before. I'm really <laughs> nervous about anything, so this is kind of fun. <laughs> this is kind of fun for me. Don't click it yet. Yeah, I'm gonna Duh. check the Did you already click it? Duh. No. I'm gonna check the job aid for you to make sure that <laughs> okay. it's Well hello. Today is the twenty fourth of February. It's a Thursday. And that means the bill of night is a week from right now. Literally a week from today. Oh, crazy. Crazy. A week from today, we'll know and hopefully be celebrating <laughs> where we're going. Yeah, how am I feeling? Let's see. We're a week away. Honestly, I don't know. You think about this, this build up, this period of time like your whole academy experience right like it's all kind of culminating to this one week this one semester you know that's just how it goes so I've had expectations of like what it would feel like and honestly it's so much more peaceful and simple than I thought like it's really not all that big of a deal in my mind and I think it's because I'm just really confident in what I ended up putting as my first couple choices and the reasoning for my first couple choices that I'm just excited. I'm just excited. And I think my list is set up in a way where it's going to be hard to be disappointed come next week. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I decided to, to shape my built list around people and community and that means both co-locating with Nolan and also putting in for boats where I already know there are strong believers where I have uh, two strong brothers on the top two boats that I want so I'm just really confident in that it brings a lot of peace and thinking about like what I would put in for like my fourth class third class second class year I never really thought that I'd base it off of just the people or location I definitely thought I would be pursuing a certain career path or a certain platform or location that I wanted like all that but really like I'm so glad I decided to I guess not be selfish in that sense and just focus on where I'm going to be the most supported and have the opportunity to be with other Christians so honestly I haven't been there yet don't know even what I'm getting yet uh I haven't experienced ends in life yet but as far as like the peace that comes the week before bill at night I'd say put it for places where you know you have good people because it just, regardless, even if your command sucks, the job sucks, your neighborhood that you live in sucks, your landlord sucks. Like if, if all that sucks, at least you know you have friends and people who love you. So I'm excited. I'm at peace. Again, it's been a while since I took a video for my Bill at Night compilation, but I don't know, it's crazy to think back to when I first started these videos, when the list first came out, because so much has changed since then, and really God's plan has just prevailed so much, and it just proved the point that we really should not be worried about tomorrow, like, we should be worried about right now, walking in God's plan, what he has currently tasked us with, because he's got so much more intricately laid out in our future than we could even dream up ourselves, so there's no sense in worrying about it, no sense in worrying about it. Just focus on the day in front of you like be diligent in your planning yes and i mean you have to think some things through and 
prepare for some things, but really just don't worry. Don't worry. Let God just lead you where he wants to lead you and follow his will every day. Be obedient to him every day. Man, it's cool. And I'm excited for next week. So I'm excited to film it. Excited to look back on all these. And yeah, man, this is cool. This is cool. And I'm excited that you all are watching. And I'm excited and thankful that you've been so supportive. I'm really thankful for that. And excited that I have people to share this with that want to hear about it. So thank you. And we'll see you next week. Well, everyone, Bill and I is officially on POD for tomorrow. That is crazy. Crazy. But I still don't think I'm nervous. I think I'm just excited to find out and start making plans. And yeah, maybe tomorrow when I don't have class and I'm just sitting here counting down the minutes, then I'll be a little bit nervous. But right now, like I said, just excited. And there's a lot of festivities that go along with Bella Night. So I'm excited for those. And I'd say the only thing... I'd be nervous about is simply what my reaction is gonna be like not like I'm not scared that I'm gonna be upset or excited I know I'm gonna be excited regardless but like I'm just afraid of what my face is gonna do up on stage in front of people that's probably the only thing that I'm nervous for <laughs> but other than that life is just life is looking up right now lots of incredible crazy stuff going on and I'm trying to soak up every moment and just be thankful for it all. So yeah, I'll take you along tomorrow. Should be a fun day. <laughs> it's Bill Day! Woohoo! Man, it's so exciting. I'm gonna find out where I'm going tonight. <laughs> yeah. No, but actually it's like the most perfect day ever. I had one class this morning. Went really well. Then I just got coffee with a friend and hanging out. The vibe in Chase Hall is great. We just got told we don't have to wear masks anymore, so it's really great. And the weather outside is really beautiful. Ah, I'm excited! <laughs> Blue sky, perfect, perfect day. Sometimes. So, no, Sorry. How are you feeling? Feeling good. I'm excited. I'm gonna get the exact build I want, no doubt. Talking. Okay. If I don't, I still be happy. Yep. As long as I graduate. How are you feeling? Excited, nervous, calm. <laughs> Anybody else have anything active? I have little airplanes floating around in my stomach, but I'm not nervous. <laughs> You gotta say something profound. Well, it felt quick because of the tiny sliver of eternity. You excited? Mm, yep. Mm, yep. Mm, yep. Yep. And we're excited. Ready to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so, what do you think? Oh, that was cute. <laughs> operational missions ranging from rescuing 544 Haitian immigrants in a single day to numerous significant interdiction of narcotics at sea. This unit's most recent 2021 East Pack patrol prevented $10 million worth of cocaine and marijuana from entering the states. Virginia, we had no idea. <laughs>
So Nolan and I are headed to Virginia. I'll be on a 210-foot cutter called the Vigorous out of Little Creek, uh, which is right next to Virginia Beach. Nolan will be a student engineer, and then I'm going to be a deck watch officer on the Coast Guard Cutter Spencer, a 270-foot boat out of Portsmouth. Bill and I worked out pretty good. Erin actually went first, which I did not know she was going to go first. First name <laughs> called in my class. I guess she was expecting it, I wasn't expecting it. So boom, she went up on stage. But what I didn't expect more was that I was going to be called second. So before she even got back to her seat, I was headed up to the stage, and then in all 60 seconds, we were back to our seats, and like, wow, that was easy. That was easy. So one of the dangers of co-location is you get two boats that are on the same pier, and maybe a pier that only has two boats. And so one boat is gonna be going out, one other boat is coming back in. So to avoid this, we put in for a place that has two piers, two different piers that are close to each other, so that there was a less likely chance that that scenario would happen. Yeah, and then as I mentioned in one of my last clips, we also have a lot of friends down there already. And since community is definitely a crucial part of our lives, we concluded that this is the best option for us. So yeah, we're excited for our new jobs, to meet new friends, to find a new church, and for so many other things. And we're really thankful that you've been so supportive this last year as I've had this channel. It's definitely been really cool connecting with y'all. So as always, keep looking up and we'll see you next time.